welcome back to my channel. Happy holidays to everyone. Obviously, from the title of this video, we are looking at some palettes that just remind me of the holidays that I recently picked up. So before I talk about the palettes, I do want to let you guys know there's going to be a little giveaway in this video. If you guys have been keeping up with me, I have 10 little, 10 little bags like this full of items I want to send to my subbies. So if you guys want to go ahead and enter this, I will leave the rules in a pinned comment down below as well as a description box with like how to enter and what the end date is on the giveaway. But it is December, it's my 30th birthday month and yeah, I just thought it would be fun to give some stuff away to you guys. And I have this extremely Christmassy look on. It's from one of the palettes I will be talking about in this video. So without further blabbering, let's get into it. So I don't know about you guys, but I have definitely been obsessed with YouTube for some time. And I feel like this Christmas in particular, I picked up so many palettes that have really reminded me of the holidays, especially because they include like the green shades, the reds, and the gold tones. So I was just, you know, recently received this palette in the mail. I actually just got this today and I filmed this eye look. And I was waiting for this palette because I wanted this to be one of the palettes I featured in this particular video, here are the swatches. And this palette is like the epitome of Christmas. It's called Christmas Morning. And this is by the indie brand Give Me Glow Cosmetics. This is what the inside of the palette looks like. It's so freaking stunning. And I was just like, wow, this really reminds me of Christmas. It's so interesting that they decided to do such a Christmassy theme with the gift idea, etc. And I saw a lot of people put these in like anti-haul videos and will I buy videos saying like, oh, this is so Christmassy, like I don't see myself wearing it for more than like the holiday season, so I won't buy it, etc, etc. But honestly, I don't feel like we should limit ourselves to just Christmas because these are like shades that I would wear any other day too, even if I got these palettes any other time of the year. The other one I wanted to mention is this one by Linda Hallberg, and this is the Metallic Mysteries 2. I have had this palette for about two weeks now, and this one also reminds me so much of like the quintessential Christmas colors. Um, she's got a metallic green, a taupey color, and then of course the red. So as you can see, pretty similar shades. I was just excited to pick this guy up because the colors looked so beautiful in the swatches from Linda Hallberg. Now I have used this a few times and I do want to review this palette for you, but the Cliff Note version of the review is these shadows are nice, but they're not mind blowing. I was actually pretty disappointed because they swatch beautifully on her and the swatches she shares are gorgeous, but on my skin tone, like these are very ordinary shadows. They're not anything mind blowing, so if you are kind of on the fence, I would probably actually go with the Give Me Glow palette versus spending like 50, is it $59 for this palette? It's a little bit pricey. So unfortunately not my favorite, but I love that it is, you know, that Christmas theme and it just came out as well. So I definitely feel like it's a good thing to share for the season. And honestly, my number one recommendation for a very quintessential holiday palette is this guy by Pat McGrath. This is from her mini opulence holiday collection that she launched. Was it in uh, October that these launched? And honestly, I thought this palette was such a snooze fest, but this is my favorite palette from the three she released. This shade Corrupt or something, Corruption. Everyone's like nuts for this shade. It's like the most beautiful duochrome shadow. It's so interesting. I love Pat McGrath's formula. I know there's a lot of people online that can't justify the price point, and I understand that. But some people, I feel like, talk these palettes down just because they don't want to buy them. And I don't really think it's fair to say, like, oh, it's so expensive. Like, I don't know why people keep buying them. They don't even look that great. It's like, you have to try it, really, to know. And these ones, there's no, like, special shades like she has in the bigger palettes. But her foils, you don't need to wet the brush. They are so easy to work with and this palette for my skin tone is perfect because I can throw this in the crease, this in the outer corner, and then any of the other four can be my perfect lid shade this holiday season. So yeah, that's my little recap. 
on these three palettes that are in my collection that remind me so much of the holidays and these are pretty new releases so I just wanted to share it with you guys you are a lover of Christmas I know some people love the holidays you might want to check out one of these palettes Linda Hallberg not my favorite but these two who I'm loving them so far so very very exciting stuff like I said don't forget to enter the giveaway rules will be in the description box Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for following my channel and supporting me through this year. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video soon. Bye guys.